Spooky. Well, hello everyone! I'm Cymatix, and we're here for another video of Call of Cthulhu. Last time we. Well, we're right here. Just outside the dark wall. There's guys coming to unload. Sounds nifty. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Hey, were you telling me what to do? Yeah, I am going to look around the docks. I'm going to look around the docks first, actually. Let's look around the docks. Yeah, let's talk to you. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast back in the water. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. Don't put that beast back in the Okay, cops. so only a a very few yes. amount of things could have killed that thing. What's to say that it actually died of natural causes? You're already in trouble. Come on, can we sort this out? There's nothing for you this here either. Beat it. There's nothing to sort out. Your but I want to go back to there. Ah. <laughs> Okay. I assume nothing's back here either. All right. I yeah. Go go into the bar. Yeah. Oi, what'd you do hey, that for? Be careful. Hi. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. But you will serve me. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Fair enough. All right. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean, who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Uh, Warehouse 36, I guess. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. 
If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Yes, a few things. Uh, find out about Darkwater, maybe. Ah, find out about Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. It's not speaking ill if it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Well, I've seen one of them. I've got what I need. Anything else? Why is there a stranded whale? The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. I've got what I need. Anything else? No. Order a drink. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever right. I want. L let's look Anything at uh, some of the people around here. Darn it! All right, I, I thought I was going to be able to get a drink. Catch. Uh -huh. Apparently, okay, that'll leave. be all for now. The most significant event of the last 80 years. Let's leave. Talk with Fitzroy, maybe. I wasn't able to get the pick-me-up. Darn, sir, lied to me. It was up here, right? Gosh, I hope so. Close the door. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Yeah, it it does kind of look abandoned. All right, hi Fitzroy. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. Well, I'm not easily uh, disappointed, I guess. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Probably nothing bad. Also nothing good, though. Very scary things. Uh, These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Charles Hawkins? Wait, you're only gonna get that. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's leaving. He he told me about... Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Asilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Sure. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Oh, that's a blackboard. Oops, I thought it was just the wall. All right. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. I'm, I'm noticing that everything in here requires rust remover. Everything. Alright, anything around here? A map. Maps are good. Why can't I pick up the map? 
The Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. Okay, anything else down here? No. Anything up here? A few things. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. How astute of you. Nothing. What a macabre souvenir. That... Alright. You suck. This guy... This guy... Just thinks he could walk in to Fitzroy's house, steal a bunch of documents, and then just... Like, insult everything? Nah, that's, that's not okay. That's not okay. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights at the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war frats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. These documents are apparently unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. How? I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Of course they have meaning. I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. How convenient. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? No. But let's assume that I do. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Sure enough. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Yeah, all right, sure. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. Already it's have. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Sure. Uh, let's leave. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. All right, sounds good. Let's go over to uh, Warehouse 36. All right. What's over here? You could tell. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Boy, we don't have a clear conscience. 
I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. <coughs> off. Oh. I don't give a <coughs> about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now, we don't give a <coughs> about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. But I want inside. You work for Cat? Cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> That's... oh no. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Sure. She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Okay, uh, return, and leave. I bid you gentlemen farewell. Okay. Um, but I need in. Darn it. Do you have anything? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Uh... I've never done such a thing. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to Dark Water? Who are the guys keeping guard? That's... that's fantastic, actually. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of Cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. You are surprisingly, like, good at conveying information while you're so drunk. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. What's in it for us? What would convince you to help me? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll take care of the bootleggers. Okay. Well, I don't have any. Liquor? Exactly. I'll try to find some for you. Sure. Well, there's only one place that I know to get liquor, but he didn't serve me any liquor last time, so don't get your hopes up. Ooh. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Sure. What? What? Oh, hi. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Oh, you're not scared of their boss? I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her? Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. Okay. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory. But I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. 
Sure. I shall take my leave. Yes, yes I will. Anything down here? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It looks like there's a way in under this grate. There's a way in? Okay. That could be fun. Alright, what's over here? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Yeah, it, it probably is. But let's... Let's go and try and get the liquor. Uh, buy a bottle of whiskey. Let's say I want to buy a bottle from you. Let's say I don't want to sell you one. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? Darn it. Shoot. Uh, be all for now. Okay, uh, that's a problem. What? I told you to beat it. Oh no, how am I? Ooh. That hurts. Alright, that stings. Um, let's talk with the two people again. Oh yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. Um, so I didn't get anything. So, have you got what we asked you for? No. I didn't find your liquor. Because you haven't really looked. There's no shortage of whiskey on dark water. Okay, uh... So I guess I'm gonna have to find the... I'm gonna have to go back to the other place. And go in that way. Okay. Anything in here... That I could potentially use? It says there's a secret around here. So I'm looking for that. Ooh. What's this? Hi. Woo! It's a lever. A handle. It must come from these old winches. Can the lever go somewhere in here? Oh, please tell me the lever can go somewhere in here. <sighs> oh, what's here? This ratchet device seems to be usable. That's that's fantastic. Where does it go? Does it go anywhere out here? Maybe if I look hard enough, then it'll just show up. Oh. There's a ladder. You know, it's probably on the ladder. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. Sure. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to end the episode there. Wait. Hold on. Do I hear something? No! <laughs>